A power-driven vessel, when towing, shall exhibit, instead of the light prescribed in Rule 23A Part 1 or A Part 2, two masthead lights in a vertical line. When the length of the tow, measuring from the stern of the towing vessel to the aft end of the tow, exceeds 200 metres, three such lights in a vertical line. Side lights, a stern light, a towing light in a vertical Tickle line above the stern light. When the length of the tow exceeds 200 metres, a diamond shape where it can best be seen. So the towing vessel has two masthead lights in replace of one masthead light to indicate that it's towing, and that yellow towing stern light vertically higher above the normal white stern light at the rear. It also has potentially a additional third masthead light if the length of tow is over 200 meters. Other than that, it has the lights prescribed for a power-driven vessel, i.e. two side lights and a single stern light. When a pushing vessel and a vessel being pushed ahead are rigidly connected in a composite unit, they shall be regarded as a power-driven vessel and exhibit the lights prescribed in Rule 23. So this means because they're rigidly connected, they're effectively one boat, or one ship, and therefore they would just exhibit the lights of a single power-driven vessel. A power-driven vessel, when pushing ahead or towing alongside, except in the case of a composite unit, shall exhibit, instead of the light prescribed in Rule 23 A Part 1 or A Part 2, two masthead lights in a vertical line, side lights and a stern light. So again, we have two masthead lights to indicate that we're either towing or pushing, but differently this time, because we're pushing ahead, we do not have the additional yellow towing stern light. A power-driven vessel to which paragraph A or C of this rule applies shall also comply with Rule 23A Part 2. Rule 23A Part 2 says that if a vessel is over 50 metres in length, it will have a second additional masthead light to show its length. A vessel or object being towed, other than those mentioned in paragraph G of this rule, shall exhibit side lights, a stern light. When the length of the tow exceeds 200 metres, a diamond shape where it can best be seen. So this is the towing vessel now. The masthead light indicates that we're under our own propulsion. As that's not the case, because we're being towed, we don't show the masthead light. But we are still a vessel, and we're still making way, so we do need our stern light and our side lights. Provided that any number of vessels being towed alongside or pushed in a group shall be lighted as one vessel, a vessel being pushed ahead, not being part of a composite unit, shall exhibit the forward end side lights. A vessel being towed alongside shall exhibit a stern light and at the forward end side lights. Section G is all about partially submerged objects. So, an inconspicuous, partly submerged vessel or object or combination of such vessels or objects being towed shall exhibit. If it is less than 25 metres in breadth, one all-round white light at or near the forward end and one at or near the after end, except that dracones did not exhibit a light at or near the forward end. A dracone is a rubber sausage-shaped bag towed along behind tugs and things, usually filled with oil or fuel of some description. If it is 25 metres or more in breadth, two additional all-round white lights at or near the extremities of its breadth. If it exceeds 100 metres in length, additional all-round white lights between the lights prescribed in subparagraphs 1 and 2, so that the distance between the lights shall not exceed 100 metres. A diamond shape at or near the aftermost extremity of the last vessel or object being towed, and if the length of the tow exceeds 200 metres, an additional diamond shape where it can best be seen and located as far forward as is practicable. Where from any sufficient cause it is impracticable for a vessel or object being towed to exhibit the lights or shapes prescribed in paragraph E or G of this rule, all possible measures shall be taken to light the vessel or object towed or at least to indicate the presence of such a vessel or object. Where from any sufficient cause it is impracticable for a vessel not normally engaged in towing operations to display the lights prescribed in paragraph A or C of this rule, such vessel shall not be required to exhibit those lights when engaged in towing another vessel in distress or otherwise in need of assistance. 
all possible me measures shall be taken to indicate the nature of the relationship between the towing vessel and the vessel being towed, as authorised by Rule 36, in particular by illuminating the tow line. Rule 36 simply says that it's okay to use other lights or signals to attract attention as necessary, so long as they cannot be confused with other lights in the rules.